guys and welcome to this episode of Caked. Eve is coming up and I made a little baby lamb to celebrate. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Caked. My name is Esma and if you're new here, I bake and decorate cakes. And if you like that sort of thing, please subscribe to my other social media channels right over here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Eve is coming up and things aren't quite back to normal yet, but they're getting pretty close. I myself won't be going for Eve prayers this year just because I want to still try to keep safe. And unfortunately, I won't be seeing my whole family because I have a really big family. So we are still going to try and celebrate in the best way that we can. And for me, that includes a lot of baking. And so this time I decided to make a cute little lamb to celebrate. Let's get started. I made two layers of four inch cake because this cake is tiny. Unfortunately, one of my cakes sunk in after coming out of the oven, womp womp. So I cut it off, but I ended up using the top anyway. I made some American buttercream and got to icing my layers. I used the top portion because I wanted to make the cake a little bit rounder at the top when I was cutting it, so I gave it a little bit more height. I then let it chill in the fridge for a bit before carving. While that was chilling, I made some gray fondant. You can use skin color or peach fondant too. And made a round oval ball for the face, some ears, and round ovals for the hands and feet, or all feet rather. These are super simple shapes. I didn't get very detailed with this. I'll be making the eyes and nose on the face later. I used my knife to carve out the shape into a little standing oval. You can make this laying down as well to make it look a little bit more sheepish too. Once I was happy with it, I gave it a crumb coat and put it back in the fridge to cool. Before icing the lamb, I put the head on first with some icing, put it in the fridge to cool to ensure that it sticks. I used a coupler on the icing bag for this so that I could switch between icing tips to give this cake a little bit of different texture. You can totally stick with one if you wish. I started with the Wilton number 32 tip and started piping all over the cake randomly in white. Once I was done, I took off the top of the coupler and switched the metal tip to a round number 12 Wilton. And then I put the top of the coupler back on. It was super easy, and then you just keep going, filling in all the holes with the round tip. Then again, I switched it to a smaller tip, Wilton number 14, and filled in all the holes and gave them a little set of bangs in the front. Then I added four little feet to the bottom of the cake. For its eyes, I made two little black balls for the eyes out of fondant, some tiny little catch lights out of white, and drew on a little smile and a nose with some edible black paint. I also gave him a little bit of blush with some pink luster dust 
and put some on the inside of his ears. And voila, he's tiny, cute, and super easy. Perfect beginner cake. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this cake, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Eid, Eid Lombardic, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.